Y'all see that killer over there? <laughs> Gotta keep her at the kitchen. She tends to like to be under my feet at all times. But hey. And also, let me go over here and adjust some of these lights because it's messing up this burgundy. Hold tight so we can make this chili. Okay, to get started, what I'm going to do first is let's try out this here plant boss, um, plant taco protein. It says it replaces one pound of ground meat. The package instruction says to put the um, crumbles in two cups of water and allow to soak for three minutes. I'm gonna use vegetable stock that I um, made. Okay, I have my own vegetable stock that I keep on hand in the freezer. So I'm going to measure up two cups of the vegetable stock and then I'm gonna pour in this package and set that timer. Okay, so let's get that going and then we will move forward. Okay, as you all can see, I have everything laid out what I'm going to use, but naturally I'm cooking chili. I need to be on the stove cooking. So all of this will be transferred over to the countertop space. And then as we work, I will, you know, add in, but hold tight. Matter of fact, let me tell you everything I have before I forget. Two alarm chili spice kit, the plant-based protein meat. This is four cups of homemade vegetable stock, canned of three bean trio, rinsed and drained, one 15.5 can of Catalini beans, one and a half cup frozen corn, one single carrot diced. This is roughly a cup and a half of chopped onions. Okay, here we have minced jalapeno and serrano mix because, you know, sometimes those jalapenos taste like bell peppers. But anyway, I say five slices to top it so I can let myself know or as a reminder that this is spicy, right? The chili. Okay. We also have minced garlic. Since I was doing knife work and I'm, I'm making a salad for later, I went ahead and done my cherry tomatoes and one cucumber. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell y'all every time. The chef is never hungry. Be the cook, okay? Anyway, let's get to it. So we're gonna measure two cups of water, I'm sorry, vegetable stock, and add in our plant protein. All right. That is beautiful. Wish me luck. Let's see here. Hold tight. First, let me see. Let me let me taste it. Hold on. And this is how I'm tasting this. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we're gonna put that in there. Let me show y'all this. Okay, hold on, let me show you this. See that? Can you see that? It just looked like a bunch of spices, but okay. Let me get a fork in here and stir it up, and then I'm gonna set a timer. And while the, we wait the three minutes, that's when I'm gonna move everything away from the stove over to the counter so we can have stove access to cook, right? Okay. There's that. Okay. Let me set the timer. Okay, guys, we'll be back in just a few. Hold tight. Okay. Our three minutes has passed. Turn it off. I'm going to turn a little heat on under this pot here. Medium. Okay. Mm, go a little bit. One more. Okay, so the recipe on this box requires eight ounces of tomato sauce. Who ain't going out there 
to go back to the market for tomato sauce. Me, Gladys, that's him. But anyhow, I do have tomato paste. I'm sure y'all are wondering why it's sitting here, okay? So what I'm going to do, this is one-fourth cup of just plain water. I am going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste and shake it up, and that pretty much will take the place of tomato sauce. But the recipe said to drain diced tomatoes. Where the juice going? Hmm. Huh. You get the point. But anyhow, as our pan pot here do what it's doing, which is not hot yet, once it get a little bit warm, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I do not measure at that point. I just make sure the whole bottom is coated to my liking or whatever. I'm going to add the onions. I'm going to add the diced carrots. I'm going to wait a few more minutes, probably add a little bit more oil, and then add this magical meat protein okay so yeah let me um measure out two tablespoons right quick this is thick so sometimes if you don't want to measure which i really shouldn't and i i anyway to make tomato sauce from tomato paste if you use two tablespoons you add Four tablespoons of water, okay? Oh, yeah. I'm done measuring because this thing is about to be out, baby. Baby, this reset is coming, okay? Let's do it. I'm going to just empty this little, little bit that's in this tube. In hopes that this thing don't start breaking and cracking and cut me. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about being cut knives and such okay and when this is over with hopefully the other one is not metal but it probably is we're done with that we're going to put the cap on oh i hear a noise let's put a little arrow to the pot was that two tablespoons oh okay Onions. Don't forget, the dish water must already be ran. When, but when you start all of this prep work, the water should have already been in the sink. What I usually do is start with only hot water and soap. I don't have it to where it's comfortable to my hands and I can just go straight in and wash dishes because I haven't messed up anything. But I need to be prepared. So the dish water is in the sink. Onions are in the pan. We're going to wait a few minutes and let them sit there and dance and dangle around a minute. We're going to add the carrots. Mm. Oh, okay. Onions trying to make a little bit of noise, okay? Not much, as we all know. Yeah, that's what they handle for. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind this Sunday morning, y'all, okay? Now, see that? We're going to shake this up really well. These mason jars come in handy for more than <laughs> canning something, right? Did we just make tomato sauce? Now, don't forget to taste and season. Because you may need to add a little salt. You may want to add a little hot sauce. You may want to add a little black pepper. I don't know. Look at that killer. She is so upset, y'all. She is upset that she can't be over here. Let me see if she want to go outside. Hold on. I think she told me no. We'll see. It won't, she won't be in here the whole time. She'll wait right there till something is about to burn and then knock on the door and see if she want to go out. Okay, let's add the carrots. Let's not get carried away because maybe she'll be good today for me. <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit more oil because I don't like how it's dry. It's my business, my food. I'm the one that's going to eat it, right? I'm the chef. So, there it is. Let's stir that up, okay? Let's stir that up, okay? 
and let that cook for about two minutes, okay? Hold tight. Okay, so now we're gonna add the garlic, right? We're gonna cook this just until fragrant, less than a minute, right in a minute, something like that. Then once we get that going, mm, smell like I'm cooking already. Once we get this going real good, okay, we're gonna add this protein mixture. It takes roughly 20 minutes to cook this according to package direction. I know nothing about this. We are all in this thing together as newbies. Okay, it said add the whole thing to the pan. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes until moisture is absorbed. I added onions and carrots and garlic as an extra flavor profile. You do not have to. You can follow the instructions from start to finish exactly as it says. But hey, we're in the lab. In the lab, we experiment, right? Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and add this mixture in here. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody, okay, this is on medium heat, guys, I'm going to set the timer at 15 minutes, we'll stir it every now and again, you know, as needed, for 15 minutes, it look like chicken. That's what it looked like, chicken. It don't necessarily smell like chicken all fresh and stuff, but it looks like chicken, okay? We'll see what it looked like when it get 20 minutes in, 15, 20 minutes in. Okay. Let's let it do a little something. We're going to wash a few dishes and we'll be back, okay? Maybe put Sissy outside. Okay guys, my better judgment is telling me to go ahead and let's add some of this seasoning in here, everything except the spice elements of it to this during this time period. The timer has 12 minutes. It says simmer everything together with ground beef, which we're using a plant replacer for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna open this bad boy and add my seasonings. Now, the meat need to have flavor and then when you add stuff that's already prepared, the rest is simple. Okay, so let me, hold on, let me, let me go ahead and let y'all see me open it like nobody knows what's in these boxes. <laughs> okay. Right. We're not going to add the masa either. Masa, no, no. Paprika will go in. This is the chili pepper, which is probably the best part of the pack. We're not going to add the red pepper. Okay, so let's get it going. Y'all, I'm telling you, you better be praying and wishing me luck. Okay, guys? I'm trying something out over here. Look at that. You better go on into the pot. Full package. I'm not going to play with it. We still have other elements. 10 minutes, guys. This here is onion and garlic. More flavor, right? Whole pack. Paprika. It says what it is on the package in case you guys are wondering. I didn't put this together. This is just, you know, straight out the box. This is cumin and oregano. Okay. Probably all of which I have in the cabinet, but since it's measured out or whatever and saved me a couple seconds, why not? Okay. Now we're going to stir this up, okay? It's got 10 more minutes of cooking time. The um, chili pack also says to add two cups of water, right? I still have two cups of vegetable stock. I'm going to add that now right just let me stir the seasoning on everybody 
because what that see all of those seasonings what it made happen in this pot it absorbed all of the liquid that was here right so now i'm going to add the two cups in here okay two cups two chains Want to stir that in, right? It almost smells like I'm really cooking chili just because the chili pack package of seasoning. And it actually looks like chili meat, guys. Okay, let me find out that this plant protein. <laughs> okay, stir it really well. Make sure the seasoning is not clumped up on anybody. Everybody needs fair share of the spice i don't know if it's salt in this let me check that out sodium one percent okay we'll wait we'll wait it's on medium heat keep in mind okay and we still have eight minutes let me show you up close with the liquid can you see that let me go over here and adjust this light so we can get down in this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's see if that made a little bit of difference. Let me show you again, okay? Try anyways. Okay. Now, what I will say, because I'm using this package, seasoning or whatever, I want to ask... If anyone knows anything about putting cocoa powder in chili, I've seen two or three different recipes that require that. I'm like, for what? But chocolate and beef, hey, you never know. So let me know how you make your chili. Anyways, we still have a few more minutes of cook time for this or whatever before we're adding everything else to the party. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and add the tomato juice mmm delicious <laughs> five minutes guys <laughs> and like I said the juice that was off the drained tomatoes I'm gonna put all of that in there I don't understand the reason for the drain but okay it's not my business not my problem so okay Five minutes more, and then I'll be brave enough to sample it to see where my seasoning is and what other adjustments I need to make. I think I want to add about a tablespoon of the minced pepper mix, okay? Right now, because it's my business and I want to. Don't judge. I like spice, okay? All right, that don't look like it was enough, but anyway, it smells like chili in here, y'all, for real. Okay, now we're going to continue cooking that for the five minutes. In the meantime, I am going to clean up a little bit of dishes, okay? Hold tight. Okay, guys, we have one minute left. This is really, really, okay, good. I said I was going to sample it at this point, but after looking back over this instructions, it, it requires two pounds of beef. I only use one pound replacement, right? So I'm going to wait until I add all my beans a few minutes later. I'm going to reduce, add the beans, tomatoes, and corn. I'm going to add everybody to the party at this point. Catalini beans, right? Three bean mix. Mmm, we're cooking now. Mmm, cup and a half of frozen corn. Okay. And the 15.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can use um, whatever tomato you, you like. No tomatoes, it's up to you. But see, I am a spice and tomato girl. Okay, everybody's in here. I'm going to mix it up, right, and reduce my heat. Oh, I forgot to mention, for those of you that are wondering if eat this type of food, no, she does not. She only eats her chicken dinner. You want some chicken dinner? Y'all look. <laughs> you want some chicken dinner? 
Oh, somebody brand new today. That's okay. She gonna miss me when I'm gone. Okay, back to the chili. Okay, I'm gonna stir everybody in. Ooh, get that tomato up off of there. Lay back down, you still tired, don't do me. We're gonna stir everybody up, right? Look like he might want some more black beans, but I ain't gonna do it. This look like a lot of food to me. Oh my God. Am I supposed to make rice with this? Cause you know, I told y'all last time I was trying to cook up some basmati cause I have too much. I just, let me, anyway, I'm gonna focus on getting this chili done and make sure it's delicious and then decide if I want some rice, okay? Stir everybody up. Okay, let me show y'all again, now that it's mixed up. Mmm, chili. So we're gonna reduce the heat, and I'm gonna cover this, okay? And then I'm gonna set another timer for, since it's already on 15 minutes, I'll look in at it at 15. But I'm gonna cover this up. Reduce the heat, allow it to simmer for a little bit. But it don't look too terribly bad, okay? Now, let me dig down and get the top to this pot. I'll put you on hold because I'm sure no one wants to hear all the clink, 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 clink. Y'all want to hear that music? But anyway, if you do, you're not. Hold on. Okay, so rinsed off the lid. We're going to put it on here. We have a little slow bubble simmer. Uh -uh, what's going on here, tomato? You better get your life together. Okay, anyways, now, we're gonna allow this to cook for 15 minutes. Let me set my timer. You already know what I'm about to do. I'm gonna wash a few dishes, continue listening to my praise and worship, and we will be back. Hang tight, friends. Okay, 15 minutes. Let's check this out, okay? Mmm. Woo, it's cooking. Okay, looks like chili. All right, guys. I'm gonna put this here. I want to hold this handle so I can stir it up really well. Okay. Y'all better stop acting like y'all scared to try some vegan. <laughs> Okay, uh, like I said, I don't know about the salt level. Don't be juicing up on me, bro. Let me get a, uh, let me try it, okay? Let me let y'all see, I got some of the plant protein on here. Come on, let me see, am I too close? There you go. Tomato and all that good stuff. Carrot. Everybody on a spoon. Look. Told y'all. She gonna wait till I'm about to burn something up and then go to bed and then go outside. It tastes like darn chili, y'all. Mmm. It do need a little bit of ring and sauce. So, what I'm gonna do kind of good though, bro. I'm going to put a little ring and sauce in it, okay? Mmm. A couple pinches or whatever, you know. All right. Yes. I do not taste the spice, so you already know what I'm about to. Let's put another tablespoon in here. Okay? Let me... Mm -mm. I did not de-seed or de-vein those two peppers that I minced, okay? So, if you are afraid of spice, either omit or take the seeds and ribs out of the peppers, okay? But that would not be me. Now, what I do know ahead of time, without even thinking about it, where is my red onion? I still ain't going to the market. Y'all got me messed up. It is what it is. This stuff going to get topped with some cheese and jalapenos. And we going to be great, okay? Anyways, so I'm going to let this cook another 15 minutes more with the lid. And we'll turn it off and we will start preparing it 
and our meal prep containers. Hold tight. Okay, so the chili is still doing what it's doing. It's almost done. And here I am once again thinking about this rice still. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and make me a small pot of rice or whatever. I'm going to do like the former President Barack Obama and um, have rice with my chili, okay? So this is basmati rice or whatever. I am going to put one cup of rice, two cups of water, bring to a bowl, turn down to simmer with the lid, and allow it to cook. I don't like to cook basmati for a long period of time because I still want it to be texturized because this is a soft rice, I mean, to me. So I'm going to make the rice, and then we will come back and set up the meal prep containers. How about that? Okay, let me cook the rice. Okay, so I didn't mention, I am going to go ahead and turn the heat source off of the chili while the rice do what it do back here or whatever. There's my timer for the full time for cooking the chili. The chili is completely done. Let me give you a quick glance of it because I'm sure you all are dying to see it. Okay. Okay, let's stir that chili. Oh, Lord have mercy. If the chili is too wet for your liking, that's what the masa is for, but I'm not going to do that, okay? There we are, people. Chili, okay, with a plant-based protein. We're going to put the lid on here and just leave this be to continue doing what it do, right? As the rice cook, because... The longer food sit and seasoning, it does what? Usually tastes better. Gets better with time. Just like me, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to cook the rice and allow the chili to sit here. Now, let me give you another tip. If you um, want to season up your rice, try cooking it in some kind of stock, right? Because this chili is packed with flavor and lots of seasonings I just chose water to cook mine with but in the future say for instance I was cooking a rice recipe that you know everything else didn't have as much power as this chili I would cook it either in vegetable stock or I would add some kind of seasoning to the water that's on you you you, you know we're in the lab we are all experimenting right do what you like because you're the only person that's going to Shovel it down, right? And if you have to share it with family, either they'll like it and tell you to cook it like that again, or they'll dislike it and give you a good, honest judgment of it, especially if you have those little honest people in your house. <laughs> but anyway, the rice is starting to make a little noise, so I'm going to stir it around and make sure it's not sticking. Put the lid on, reduce the heat. Ten minutes, we'll be back. 10 minutes in, let's check that rice. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, yeah. We can cook it maybe three minutes more, okay? Let's set that timer. We want to make sure all of the liquid is absorbed. Okay, three minutes. Okay, three minutes, guys. Let's check it out, people. I can make it. Oh, yes. Rice is cooked. Now I'm going to get out all of my containers on how I'm going to package it up, lay everything out. And start building and show you guys what I do to get the meal prep ready for the week. Hang tight. I should have done that in that three minutes. But, hey, judge ye not. Hold tight. Okay, so, five containers. I'm going to pack mine in these. Okay? Usually I have my breakfast in this, but something is lunch. Okay, we not. let's not worry I'm going to see what one third cup of rice look like at the bottom because honestly, I feel like the chili is enough by itself. 
but because we are being rich, okay, <laughs> using what we have, we're going to just see what it looks like, okay? One, one third cup of cooked rice directly at the bottom. It looks like plenty, right? And as you can see, it's still hot, okay? Now I'm going to just pack this one up and see what it looks like after I put one cup of the cooked chili on the top, right? Okay. Today, let's stir this bad boy up, okay? This is basically a four bean chili with corn. I'm going to add one cup, okay? Okay, that's plenty, right? We're going to top, I am going to top mine. This is a plant-based cheese. Vegan, vegan, okay? <laughs> Dairy free people, okay? I'm not measuring this, I'm just gonna put some on the top. And because I have those pepper, okay, I'm going to make sure everybody's in. Chili with rice. You see how it's bleeding down in there? Boy, that rice is going to be so good. Now, guys, I'm going to make five of these. I'm going to tin them. I'm not gonna close them because we have to let this cool so we can put it in the refrigerator. So we have five of these to build. So let me do that and we'll be back. Okay, and for those of you that don't think that I make a mess and all that good stuff, I do. So we have to clean all of the containers around the top and on the sides before closing and refrigerating, right? So. And also, so you all can know, this recipe, I still could probably make three or four more cups because I still have more of everything, but y'all already know. Got to make sure it's good for the people. So what does that mean? The cook is never hungry. I get to sample it, right? Today, dinner. Go with that salad. I'm supposed to be eating salad for dinner all week, but anyway. Back to this. We're going to clean this up and we're going to put the cheese on top and tint the lids. That's going to do two things. It's going to help the cheese melt and not allow nothing to get down in it before we can get down in it with that fork, okay? Anyway, let me finish cleaning up, putting my cheese on and, and everything like that. Okay, you see? Five equal containers all packaged up in the same. Rice, chili, cheese, and jalapenos. If you're one of those people that like onions in your chili, by all means, you can do that now. Or whatever, if you want sour cream, you can do that. Whatever toppings you choose that's best for you, do that in your lab, okay? But for me, I'm a little sad though, because if I had purple onion here, I probably would have dressed them up with purple. But anyways, let's put the tops on them and allow them to cool completely and put them in the refrigerator, okay? All right. And no, I'm not closing them all the way so the cheese can melt. Okay, I guess I've taught you all enough for today. Let's be blessed and powerful every day. Until next time, toodles.